Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Friday, September 21st. It's the 17th week after Pentecost and week 4 in the psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 69, verse 1 to 29. John chapter 12, verse 36 to 43. And today is also the feast day of St. Matthew. Now join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before our songs of joy we sing you. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, save me, O God, for the waters have risen to my neck. Alleluia. Psalm 69, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, save me, O God, for the waters have risen to my neck. I sink deep in muck where there is no firm ground. I've come into deep waters where the floods wash over me. I am weary by my crying. My throat is parched, my eyes fail while I wait for my God. And they that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They that would destroy me wrongfully are mighty. Must I restore that which I never took? O oh God, you know my foolishness, and my sins are not hidden from you. Do not let them that wait on you be ashamed for my sake. Do not let those that seek you be confounded because of me, O God of Israel. For your sake I have borne reproach, and shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my family, an alien to my mother's children. For the zeal of your house has consumed me, and the reproaches of them that scorned you have fallen on me. And when I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was turned into my reproach. I made sackcloth my garment, and I became a proverb to them. And they that sit at the gate speak against me, and drunkards make songs about me. But as for me, this is my prayer, O God, in your own time, O God, in the vastness of your mercy, hear me in the truth of your salvation. Deliver me out of the mire, and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me and out of the deep waters. Let not the flood cover me, neither let the deep swallow me, and let not the pit shut her mouth on me. Hear me, Most High, for your loving kindness is good. Turn to me in your tender mercy, and do not hide your face from me, for I am in trouble. Answer me quickly. Draw near and redeem my soul. Deliver me from my enemies. You have known my reproach, my shame and my dishonor, my adversaries are all before you. Reproach has broken my heart. I have reached the end of my strength. I looked in vain for some to take pity and for comforters, but I found none. They gave me gall for my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table be a snare for them, and their sacred feasts a trap. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and make their limbs tremble and shake. Pour out your indignation on them, and let your fierce anger take hold of them. Let their homes be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents, for they persecute one whom you have smitten, and insult those whom you have wounded. Add iniquities to their iniquity. Let them not come into your righteousness, let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and sorrowful. O God, save me, and set me on high. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, save me, O God, for the waters have risen to my neck. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 12, beginning at verse 36. After
after Jesus had said this, he departed and hid from them. Although he had performed so many signs in their presence, they did not believe in him. This was to fulfill the word spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Lord, who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? And so they could not believe, because Isaiah also said, He has blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, so that they might not look with their eyes and understand with their heart and turn, and I would heal them. Isaiah said this because he saw his glory and spoke about him. Nevertheless, many, even of the authorities, believed in him, but because of the Pharisees, they did not confess it for fear that they would be put out of the synagogue, for they loved human glory more than the glory that comes from God. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to sing. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, you have seen our shame and dishonor. In your vast mercy, draw near and redeem our souls. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.